Here's a short video on how to update the ProStar MPBT controller firmware. On the left side you'll see the ProStar MPBT controllers, uh, the non-meter and meter versions. If you take the cover off at the bottom there, you'll see the meter port on the right side. You'll need a Morningstar meter bus adapter, either the MSC uh, RS-232 uh, PC meter bus adapter or the USB meter bus adapter or the UMC adapter. Both our uh, information is available on our products page. If you look at the product accessories, uh, you can find that. On the right, you'll see the trip light U209-000-R uh, USB to serial DB9 adapter, which is compatible with our controllers. So here's the Morningstar website. From the Morningstar website, you can pull up the, go to the ProStar MPBT product page. And then from there, you can enter the support library docs. And clicking on the software tab, see we have MS load, which you'll need to this is the software that loads the firmware to the controller and then the ProStar MC firmware update is right here so all I have to do is click on that to download that click on that to download the firmware and then once that's downloaded and installed you can run MS load and then here's the run program. And this comes up, and you push OK. Another warning screen comes up. So it's very important to maintain the connection uh, so the firmware will not fail, but if it does fail, you may need to return the product to your Morningstar dealer. But generally there's no problems. Or this also indicates that your custom program settings will be lost if you do a firmware update. Push next, and then you go into the browse. We want to upload the newest version, which is version 10. <coughs> and once that's in there, we can push next. And this is the port we have it on. You may need to use the drop down list to select uh, the port that you're connected to. And at this point you have to turn on the ProStar MPBT. It's, you have the connection and if it's connected and on you just have to disconnect power and connect power because it starts the firmware up, up load when it boots up. We have a clock right here, which will show this in time lapse. So now here we are updated successfully. Then we do exit, and now we just need to turn off and on our controller, bring it up on MS View. So you disconnect and connect to your controller. Search for connected devices, and now it's up. And there we are. And once we get connected here, go into properties, and the info shows the firmware version 
0410, which is what we just installed.